Hello technical knowledge seekers, hope you are doing well and as always if you are new to my channel, I would humbly request you to subscribe to my channel so that you shall be able to watch all my latest engineering videos that I will be uploading on my channel for you guys. Ok, so today we are going to study about uh, thick walled pressure vessels. Ok, in the previous video we have already understood and basically performed the stress calculations for thin walled pressure vessel. But today the problem at our hand to understand is thick walled pressure vessels. Ok, so in thick walled cylinders the maths is very easy. Ok, so we have already seen that in thin walled the maths is very easy. We assume that the stresses through the thickness does not vary significantly. So, the stress calculation is very very simple for the thin walled cylinders. But the story is very different when it comes to thick walled pressure vessels or thick walled cylinders. Here the main difference is the stresses do not, do, sorry, the stresses do vary significantly throughout the thickness. The thickness could also be equal to to the inner radius in case of high pressure hydraulic lines over here. Also if the diameter to the thickness ratio what we called as the D by T ratio is less than 20 then it will always be treated as a thick walled cylinder. If this ratio is greater than 20 then you can treat it as a thin walled cylinder. So this is a very important difference just by seeing various uh, pressure vessels you cannot come to the conclusion that it is a thin walled or it is a thick walled pressure vessel. You always have to compare this ratio D by T to understand whether it is a thin walled or a thick walled pressure vessel. So you can see this is your hydraulic cylinder, this is a thick walled pressure vessel if you compare this ratio. This hydraulic pressure line is a thin is a thick walled pressure vessel. If you further go and uh, see below you can see this submersible pressure vessel are your submarines your nuclear submarines all these are thick walled pressure vessels okay so just to understand our concept further in many engineering applications cylinders are frequently used for transporting or storing of liquids gases or fluids okay by cylinder they can be thin walled or they can be thick walled ok remember this concept for pressure vessels you can have pipes boilers storage tanks spherical tanks these are all pressure vessels ok but specifically we going to talk about thick walled ok so these cylinders are subjected to fluid pressure when a cylinder is subjected to an internal pressure at any point on the cylinder wall for the thick walled cylinder you will always have three types of stresses will be generated ok in this thick walled pressure vessel. So, remember three types and these types of stresses will be acting mutually on the mutually perpendicular planes uh, of the pressure vessel ok. So, this is a very important concept. So, just to understand it further uh, this picture is going to assist us a lot ok. What kind of uh, uh, stresses will be generated in a cylindrical pressure vessel. Uh, regardless of the concept we have a hemispherical or basically we have got a flat uh, or an ellips ellipsoidal pressure vessel it does not matter but the stresses generated will always be three types ok. So, the first type of the stress generated is going to be the longitudinal or the axial stress. Th this is the longitudinal or axial stress generated along the axis of the pressure vessel. So, the second type of the pressure vessel uh, the stress generated is the circumferential or the hoop stress which is called as sigma c and you can see this blue uh, circle this is basically the circumferential stress generated around the periphery or circumference of the pressure vessel thick wall pressure vessel. Then there is another very typical type of a stress generated along the uh, pressure vessel which is called as the radial stress ok. This radial stress is active from the center is acting perpendicularly and acting uh, on the four quadrants of the 
pressure vessel. Okay. This is a very good uh, way to understand the three different types of stresses. You must uh, uh, be able to clear that how the directions of the radial stress, the direction of the circumferential stress and the direction of the axial stress. Once this concept is clear, we can further go ahead to make our concept more clearer and that is in in the case of thick wall cylinders, the treatment will be carried out under the consideration that the variation of both of the hoop by I mean the circumferential and radial stress is a function of the distance from the axis of the cylinder. Okay. And what is he trying to tell us about? It will be uh, from this axis, we will have to calculate the circumferential stress and we also have to calculate the radial stress. Okay. We will not be talking about uh, the longitudinal axial stress because this stress will not change when it is being subjected to an inside pressure uh, for a thick walled pressure vessel. Okay. So, uh, you have to be very clear from this concept, okay. The stresses generated in the thick walled cylinders, basically remember it will be number one, the hoop or circumferential stress. This is directed along the tangent to the circumference and tensile in nature. Thus, there will be increase in diameter as a result of this hoop or circumferential stress. The second stress is the longitudinal stress. This stress is directed along the length of the cylinder. This is also tensile in nature and tends to increase the length. Okay. And the third is basically the radial stress. Okay. It is compressive in nature and very important. Its magnitude is equal to the fluid pressure on the inside wall and zero on the outer wall if it is open to the atmosphere. So these three gives you a very brief uh, calculation uh, explanation of the stresses generated in thick walled cylinders okay so note that the stress calculation procedure of thick walled cylinder was firstly solved by g lames in 1833 and it could be applied to a wide variety of design situations namely the cylindrical pressure vessels the thick wall pressure vessels, the hydraulic cylinders, the piping systems, okay, the shrink fit calculations and the pressure fit calculations which are very very frequently used and another kind it, it can be applied is compound cylinders, okay. So all these places you could apply these names uh, equations to calculate the three stresses that we have just told you about, okay. So this is a, a brief introduction and uh, the stresses generated in the thick walled pressure vessels okay so i hope you have understood this concept of thick walled pressure vessels and uh, in the next video we will discuss the stress analysis of the thick walled pressure vessel i hope you have understood this concept i thank you all and i hope you have a very good day thank you and bye